Good to go? As of right now, yes. <laughs> I'll let you know by Sunday. <laughs> Was that, I mean, it was just kind of a maintenance thing, taking a day off yesterday? Yeah, uh, you know, throughout uh, last year, Thursdays were already my day offs, but, um, you know, trying to get back in the flow of things, and, um, you know, it's getting ready for Sunday, not getting ready for, you know, Friday, but, uh, you know, as of right now, feeling good. This is a team that ran for, what, 184 yards last week, uh, mm -hmm. obviously, they got Jones going a little bit. Uh, yeah. He's the number one guy to stop for them. Jones and Dylan, um, two-headed monster, I think. Uh, I just think they uh, they complement complement themselves uh, very well. Uh, Jones can really bounce outside, uh, and Dylan's more of a straight line guy. Uh, 250 pounds, man, he brings it. And uh, you know, I think the, with a young offensive line and a young quarterback, uh, you know, offense uh, running game is you know the easiest. Uh, recipe. So we got to make sure we really take care of the run. You, lot, you saw they had a lot of success last week, so uh, they're feeling good about it. Cam, with Kawhi and Mika out, do you worry about communication issues back there? You guys sat there? Uh, I don't worry about it. I, I just think other guys have a chance to step up. Um, you know, we always talk about you're only one play away from being in the game, and um, this is an opportunity for other guys to step up. Uh, Quan, you know, Landon, uh, even Mark Robb, uh, other safeties. You got Casey, uh, Keanu, um, and then up front, you know, it's up to the uh, our guys to talk as well. Um, and we got to have that open dialogue to, you know, not hold or keep any secrets up there. Cam has recovery this week after last week's game been what you expected it would be harder, easier. It is what it is. Uh, you know, had surgery what eight weeks now. Uh, you know. Beating the odds doesn't take away the fact that uh, I'm going to be dealing with some swelling. How much were you able to do today? Um, I took some plays. Um, you know, I think the main thing with us is just about getting me ready for Sunday rather than Friday. So, um, was it the same amount of plays I wanted? No, but uh, you know, it's a step in the right direction. Can't wait to say you're confident for Sunday. I would say so. If I practice today, I would say I'm confident for Sunday. So, yes. Cam, yeah, Alex Heisman. Uh, maybe not getting enough credit because of the uh, importance that people traditionally place on sacks when there's so many other ways to gauge edge rush. You know, I just think rushers. Alex is, he's playing his tail off. Um, and I think it's just very low hanging fruit when you just look at sacks. Uh, yes, that's the, the finishing goal, but to put pressure on a, on it uh, multiple times and, you know, to be as, um, he's playing like a game record. And, you know, when you have those type of disruptions, that should be on, on notice more than just your sacks. As a D tackle, do you look at those advanced things anymore, like sacks created or because you guys, you know, yeah. don't always get don't, shows, don't, but... don't even get me started with D tackles. <laughs> I, I don't even think, like, a lot of those advanced scoutings know how to really – um, There's still subjectivity. Yeah, they don't understand what a D tackle does. They can't even tell what we're trying to accomplish in a play, whether it's trying to two gap or whether whether we're trying to get upfield, whether we have a stunt on. There are all these things they take, don't take into account, but all they look is the fin finished product if I got a tackle or not. I could be doing my job making sure my linebackers flow free, and you know I could be getting a plus from my coach, but you're giving me a minus. I don't think that's right. Can you talk about? You know, young quarterback, young offensive line. Yes. How much is pressure and, and just getting him uncomfortable, whether or not you're sacking him, going to be important for you guys this week? Very uncomfortable. Uh, you know, I think that we have to, you know, best way to uh, give the ball to our offense uh, and get a lead is to get him multiple times. Um, you know, we got to force him into some mistakes, but that comes down to taking care of the run making sure they're one dimensional, making sure uh, they have to throw the ball rather than run the ball. Um, you know, last week the big thing was stopping the run, but also stopping the screen game as well. And it gets applied to this week. So uh, we got to do a great job of stopping that too. Cam, you've seen Pat Pete play some safety. Rush came in, played some safety. That guy's mm -hmm. moving around due to injuries. How do you feel that that room is coming together? And that, what do you think they've they've given you guys? Well, you know, they, they've done with their share of injuries, but I like the way we stepped up in those moments. Um, you know, uh, whether it's Rush, Pat Pete, 
uh, Elijah Riley. Uh, it's a multitude of guys that have to move around. Uh, Minka plays a lot of different roles in that, and uh, um, not having Minka is tough. Um, but we we all know we weren't going to be able to replace it with just one guy. So it's got a lot of guys moving around. It's got to have a lot of communication. I thought we did better at that in the Tennessee game than the game before. So uh, steps in the right direction, but we'll see where we go from here. Tampa Chooks is dealing with a situation right now where he's been yeah. George kind of had some frustration shown during the game last week and a little bit of social media or whatever. I mean, uh -huh. What do you make of the locker room right now and some of these things coming up? Man, just locked in on the Packers. Uh, no one says it was going to be easy. Um, I'm pretty sure there's plenty of people who have done with that before. Uh, you know, I'm not going to minimize it, but uh, I just think, um, you know, the goal is still to win, um, and all we can do is try to give ourselves the best opportunity to do that. Um, no matter who's out there, uh, if you're not out there, you're communicating, um, but we can't deter from what we're trying to accomplish. Two more? In your shoe, I guess. Hmm? Is it a pebble in your shoe? These, uh... I'm wearing flip-flops, so I'm not worried about the pebbles in my shoes. Can, can, can we, I mean, you haven't played, you haven't missed many games in your career. Right. The same way. How do you deal with that when there's a span of time you miss? Staying involved, um, still going through practice, uh, taking the mental reps in it, um, communicating off the field with players. Uh, as much as I'm trying to help them, I'm trying to help me as well. Um, and I, I think uh, it's nice being able to know that I'm able to come back. You know, it's sometimes hard when you get designated as you're done for the season. You kind of just take yourself out of it. Um, but yeah. Outside of LeBron, did you grow up a, a Packers fan? Oh, I did for, I mean, my grandpa was a huge Packer fan. Um, some of my parents were huge Packer fans. Uh, I was more of just kind of watched from afar. One of my buddies had season tickets, so I've been a couple times. But, uh, once JJ got to the NFL, it was pretty much all Texans for the most part. Does this week still hold any sort of special meaning for the Watt family? Is anybody coming in for it that normally wouldn't? Or No, I mean, not at this point. I mean, it's so far into my career. I've already played in Green Bay. Right. That was a special one, but at this point, it's just another opponent and uh, another tough one at that. Have you seen the middle linebacker room kind of adapt without Cole and confidence in Mark Robb and other guys stepping up? Yeah, they've done a good job, man. Uh, like we talk about every week, it's all about communication. Uh, we had the crowd noise out there this week, the reps. Um, trying to create a game-like atmosphere, especially for those newer guys that haven't gotten as many reps as they got this week, but I think they've done a great job so far. Do you worry about communication without Cole and Minka back there, too? I don't know if I worry about it. I feel very confident. Uh, it's definitely going to be more of a challenge, but uh, I feel like we have a good game plan. We have, we've had good communication all week. We still have another two days here to do as many, much studying as we possibly can. And, um, we have to help those guys out if they need assistance. It's all about getting everybody on the same page. It's not always about getting everybody in the right defense sometimes. It's just about calling one thing so we all can play the same play as opposed to trying to get the perfect call and then guys get different calls and it gets messed up. What kind of communicator is Quan? And just what does he do with the chemistry of the defense when he's out there? Well, Quan's just high energy. He really is. He's been since he's been here. Uh, always brings the juice and that's, that's something that you need for a, a defense to succeed is just to be able to have that contagious energy. Um, everything we do in this building is contagious one way or another. And that guy is positive and uh, it, it rubs off on everybody. For some of the challenges in the way they use their running backs, you know, it's hard, like different styles and then they put them on the field at the same time. So yeah, I mean, they have, uh, we call it pony and two backs on the field at the same time. Um, they can do a plethora of different things. Obviously, 33 is uh, a gasher uh, and then the 28 is the bigger back. but. Uh, we have to be able to handle whoever they have in there, and we know that they're not going to run. They're not going to get away from the run. They're going to try to establish it, uh, even if it's not working right away. So um, it's a challenge, like it is every week. Highsmith isn't among the league leader in sacks, but he is in pressures, depending on who's counting those. I mean, can that add context maybe to what a guy like him is doing when he's collapsing the pocket or flushing the guy out, but not necessarily getting that significant stat? Yeah, I mean, they come in bunches. They really do, and I think he's had a great year this year, and he plays the run. Uh, just as well as any other edge out there, and uh, obviously getting after the passer as well. So uh, I'm not too worried about his production. I mean, I think he's producing at a great rate, and uh, it's not always about the overall stats of how a guy's playing. You do your, your locker's next to his. 
Joey last week had shadowed the best receiver. How about Where have you seen him grow and what's confident you guys as a defense having him right now? Yeah, I mean, I'd like to say he got more confidence, but he's had confidence from the start. And you know, I think that's why he's having so much success. And uh, he's been practicing really well. He's been trying to continue to stay hungry and work at his craft. And uh, there's going to be ups, there's going to be downs. Uh, that's just life in the NFL, and that's life at his position. But uh, he, there's a lot of positives to take away from this game. Having Cam back, how much does that help the run defense? I mean, especially going into a game like this where they are going to try to establish the run. Yeah, it's huge. I mean, having Cam in there uh, just from getting, I mean, especially when you have guys going in the back end like Mink and um, Cole, it just helps. He can set things up front, uh, the move calls, things like that, and also just being stout on his side. Uh, him and Alex control the right side of line of scrimmage, and uh, it's huge for us. Have any indication that you might get called this weekend? Say again. Do you have any indication that you might get Oh, yeah, I'm a, I got my bag right here, so I guess that means I'm up. <laughs> um, so you were an edge guy? Is that what you used to talk about changing positions? Uh, no, nah, I've always been a safety. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. Yeah, so, so I, I moved a linebacker this past camp in Green Bay, and uh, yeah, now I'm here. Big, yeah. big safety. <laughs> uh, I wasn't always this big. Yeah, gotcha. So, I mean, you get that opportunity. Can you give us an idea of your emotions right now? Uh, just going out of plan. Uh, really, emotions just come. Really, just I get to put on that Steeler jersey. I can actually say that I'm a Steeler. So, really, just got to go out there, just put everything on tape, make sure I be able to put it on again at the end of the day, really. Just try to solidify myself. Did you kind of wonder when you get look at the veterans and they're like, man, am I going to get a chance? Am I going to get a chance? What, what kept you working hard during? Uh, honestly, I was really wasn't really worried about that. Um, you know, I ain't really out here. You know, I know everything is earned. So, you know, I know I'm coming and playing a new position. So, I'm just kind of put my head down, go out there on scout team and just more focus on, like, self-development, work on my techniques, working on using my hands and stuff. And, um, even like before practice and after practice, like Coach uh, Curry be having me out there, be before working on my technique and stuff. And um, I actually feel like a linebacker now. So. How much have you been able to, to lean on guys like Cole and Quan, and how much yeah. have they helped your game? Man, a ton, honestly. Uh, you know, they so they give us so much information and stuff. And, um, you know, they know that we're young. They understand the situation of me playing a new position. And uh, they just been doing a great job of just breaking stuff down. And uh, I've been getting a lot better with it. So.